Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. Airbnb has had a bit of a strange news cycle as some data about the company's listings has been aggregated and reported specifically on Twitter, but it's made its way to mainstream media. Now, the reaction has been a little bit mixed because the numbers look really bad for Airbnb, but it may not be exactly what you think from an operating standpoint for the company. So that's what I want to dig into today is what's being reported and what we should actually look for in earnings. My name is Travis William. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content and check out my newsletter, Asymmetric Investing, in the show notes. I'll start here with this article from Market Watch just to show you kind of how big this has gotten. They're saying that rental revenues have plunged in some parts of the US, but then also highlight that there's some doubts around the data. So let's go to one of the first things. There are some data aggregators that put together information from Airbnb, how much units are being listed for, how many nights are being filled, and that's what these are doing. So this is revenue per available listing from May 22 to May 23. And what this is saying is that there's a drop in revenue per listing, specifically in Tennessee, Arizona, Austin, Texas. It looks like there's dec declines across the board, but it really depends on what region you're in. That's kind of the way the hotels and Airbnbs work. There's also been some pushback on this. I'll zoom in on this tweet, but what this is showing is that another data source, AirDNA, is saying that revenue per available room is down, but maybe not as much as was being reported in that first tweet. And keep in mind too, that this is just for May of 2022 compared to May of 2023. Compare this to the first quarter results that we got from Airbnb. The company's revenue was up 20% year over year, so if it's true that revenue is dropping, that would absolutely be a concern for investors. But there's a little bit of a difference between revenue for Airbnb and revenue per available listing. That's what's being reported in these reports is how much revenue is each listing making. If the number of listings grows and revenue per listing drops, it's very, very possible that Airbnb's revenue could actually go up. The strange dynamic that Airbnb has is they are the platform, but they still want the people who are listing their homes or apartments, or condos, they still want those properties to be profitable. So they don't want revenue per listing to drop too much because then it makes it uneconomical to run an Airbnb, specifically if a unit is built just for being an Airbnb. So I think since there's multiple data sources that are saying that Airbnb revenue per unit, basically like the same as a revenue per available hotel room is down, it's very possible that revenue for each of those people who own those homes or those properties, that revenue is going to be down on a per night basis. What we don't know yet is what the impact is going to be on Airbnb, because it's very possible that the number of listings is actually going up at the same time. Revenue per listing could be down, but revenue overall could be flat. What I think will be interesting to look at is what is the trend overall? Did we have a huge surge in traffic to Airbnb specifically as the pandemic was ending in 2022? And then in 2023, people are going back to the office, doing kind of more regular things, and then revenue drops. That seems to be very possible, but that's not what we have seen yet in the numbers. So be a little bit skeptical of the idea that Airbnb's revenue is going to drop just because some of these third-party metrics are showing declines on a revenue per available room basis. That's not going to necessarily correlate directly with Airbnb, especially since this is a company that's serving thousands of cities around the world, not just one individual city. So good data points, but need a little bit of context. What did you think about this news? Leave your comments in the comments section below. Don't forget to follow Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.